Welcome to the Motor City. This is Comerica Park. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Chicago White Sox and the Detroit Tigers. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about to get underway and on the mound now Tarek Skubal. What should we keep an eye on here. Well I'm interested to see how he utilizes his sinker to this lineup. Move. You know it's not necessarily his go to primary pitch but he does mix it in when he needs it. He's just got to make sure that it's not flat otherwise it's going to get hit hard. So look for him to throw it up there when he needs a big double play a ground ball something like that to get out of an inning change it up for a hitter also get those hitters looking down so that it opens up the top of the strike zone especially late in and at bat Andrew Benintendi in the box now take strike one now one miss Next offering is in for a strike. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Just off the outside part of the plate. Man oh man I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Drilled to right way back there and that is gone. A massive home run and they lead it. It's one nothing. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. You gotta love a game that brings some action from the jump. And at the plate, he was looking for a pitch to absolutely drive. And you know, leadoff hitters aren't up there anymore just working the count, trying to get on. They're looking to make some noise and do some damage. Andrew Vaughn now. This one smoked on its way out of here. That was blasted to the moon and they add to the lead. It's two nothing. That was blasted. Absolutely. No doubt off the bat. Back to back Jacks and this club is fired up right now. Boy, I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Luis Robert now. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Here's a player known for playing better in day games, which is not always the case. I mean, day games are different, boo. Things change from game times to your daily routine, but he sure makes the transition look easy. Swings through that one out in front that time. Activity in the bullpen for Detroit. Shelby Miller up and loosening in the pen. Chafin, the lefty, warming up as well. And a pitch. And one and two. It's a good take. The pitch. And down on strikes. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Yoan Moncada, batting with one down, takes a strike. Scooble in his fourth year 
27 years old, and he was a ninth-round draft pick back in 2018. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Swings and misses, struck him out. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens. Aloy Jimenez stands in now, looks at that one inside. That's down and in. Swings and misses. And it's 2 and 1 now. Well, he came right at him right there, challenged him with the 2 0 fastball. Not sure exactly what he was looking for, but got to imagine that's a confidence booster on the mound. You're in that hitter's head a little bit. Next offering finds the zone. The count is full. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The wind of the pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And the pitch. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now a two nothing ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back at Comerica Park. And today on the Hill, Eric Fetty. What do we need to know here about the right-hander? Well, there are going to be a lot of balls in play because of the ground ball rate. Important that the defense stays engaged in the game. I think it's critical. Tempo is there. If you work quickly, it helps the fielders behind you to stay engaged, to make those plays, and help you get through the innings. Parker Meadows stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Swing and a high fly ball to left. And Benintendi able to make the grab. Let's take a check of the Tigers lineup. And the key to victory for them here, get their starter some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away jump out to a lead early and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Yeah. Here's Riley Green. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. One down, base is empty. Now oh. one and one. And that's in the dirt. Righty delivers. Into the outfield. Base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Everything came together for him. That just a good. simple ground ball the, the other way. Base. Had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's, that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel. Right put the ball in play and just hope it finds a hole. Spencer Torkelson up now for the Tigers. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Off the mark there. One ball, one strike. Going to lay off that pitch down. On the ground to third, into the outfield, base hit. They get it in quickly, so first and second, now one out.
making a move at first. Detroit going with the pinch runner, Matt Veerling. Lennon Sosa. And he'll be the injury replacement, taking over at third. Kerry Carpenter digs in now. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Green, the lead runner at second. Veerling over at first with one away. Next pitch is outside. Activity in the bullpen. Johnny Brebbia, the closer, is getting loose. And there's a the ball. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Righty to the plate. A little bit low. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here with the middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. Out there to center. Robert moves under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Two down. Batting fifth. No left fielder. Mark. So it's their last chance in this one. Here's Mark Canna. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Just missed. And another ball. Two balls, no straight. Two outs. That oh. one misses. And now 3 0. Oh. Colt Pete up next for the Tigers. Three oh down. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. The right hander gives up the two out walk. Now, this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. And now here is Colt Heat right through there for a strike. Two outs, bases are full. That one finds the zone, and it's nothing at two. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. And takes low for ball one. Fetty is just one strike away. Swing and a miss, and that's the ball game. Well, it was a tough day at the plate for the hitters. Only able to scratch out a couple of hits, but some really good pitching, some good defense. You don't expect to win the game when you only put up two hits, but somehow they found a way to get it done. 2 nothing. your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.